Hello. Got an email from Josie. It's quite long, so get yourself a cup of tea and some snacks and sit comfortably. Recently I've upped the ante as I'm trying my hardest to stop giving into anorexia and switch things up, but I'm finding it so difficult and honestly feel so alone. I irritate all around me. I'm trying so hard to stop all the movement compulsions, but it's so, so difficult and I want to do everything for everyone. If someone gets up to go to the toilet, so do I, or I walk and um, I'm running up the stairs because my mum has, or if she makes a drink, then I'm trying to walk and put the drink away before her. Now it's got to the whole point where my whole family honestly hate me and say I take over everything. I just feel so alone. I don't know if I can do this. I feel so unsafe and I have no friends, but I don't even feel like I have a point in this world. I've lost weight again, so I guess that makes me feel safe, but arguments with my mum about the fact that I'm doing everything are just so hard. I'm trying really hard to stop. But like today, say I didn't do five, maybe out of 10 compulsions. And then this evening where she picked up, I, I gave into one and my mum had to go at me for trying to take over. Now I just feel so lost and I feel like I wish I'd given in to everything. I'm so tired of this Tabitha. I'm eating a lot more and trying hard with food. I even started to try and put bread on and butter on. I put butter on my bread again. I had my first slice of cake in over four years and gosh, that was scary. But as soon as I feel alone, I just want to relapse. And I realize it's due to my anorexia. Those around me are um, tired of me and don't want me. And honestly, I'm such a problem. I know my illness now tires my mum and my OCD compulsions make her so angry as I know it makes her feel like I want to do everything in the house for her and to be, um, and that isn't what I want. It's just in the moment when someone is moving, I just feel like it's over sensing, overwhelming sense to move. I hate myself and who I am. I hate everything that I've become and now I feel like the person that I've turned into, even my mum can't love me. The loneliness is so painful, I just wish that this all would stop. The thoughts of the anxiety, um, the thoughts and the anxiety like today my mum suggested tomorrow we go and visit someone straight away, I was stressing about out as if tomorrow we're going out and then tonight I should eat less or not challenge myself so much just in case my jeans don't fit tomorrow or bloat or I look bigger. Every aspect is just so hard and I'm exhausted. How did you get through this? I wish I could meet you and give me a tablet to make all of this go away. I need a hug and a friend and just something to switch all of this horrificness going on in my brain. I mean, this is kind of depressing to make a video about, but then if you could, it would mean the world. Kindest regards, Josie. Well, Josie, I know that you feel really alone. You're absolutely not alone in your experience. I was probably the most annoying person to be around when I had an eating disorder, just the same as you. If somebody moved, I felt like I had to match that at the very least, or even better, I felt like I had to match that and do more. So for example, um, in my parents' house, we had downstairs toilet and upstairs toilet. And if I was around at my parents' house and somebody, say, went to the downstairs toilet, got up from whatever we were doing and went to the downstairs toilet, I would have this compulsion to go and walk all the way to the upstairs toilet. It was always an excuse because it's like, oh, somebody's in the downstairs toilet, so I have to go to the upstairs toilet. But I bet that even my, I bet even my parents and things knew that I was just making the excuse to walk upstairs. But because it's such a funny little thing, it's, it sounds ridiculous when somebody starts to accuse you of it. Like, you just went to the upstairs toilet on purpose. Like, who has that kind of argument? That's bizarre. But eating disorders are bizarre and they turn us into the most annoying, irritating people. Um, and it's, it's also a funny thing, like you mentioned, you want to do everything for everyone, but it's not actually about doing everything for everyone. It's about the movement of doing everything for everyone. I was absolutely the same as well. I always had to be the person to clean up. If someone was drinking a cup of tea, I was cleaning it up and taking it through to the kitchen, even before they finished it or put it down, to the point it was annoying people. And that's another thing that must be extra annoying for people is because it's hard for them to actually tell you off for trying to be helpful at least it seems like you're trying to be helpful like it makes the other it's just another bizarre argument like stop trying to clean up for me <laughs> most parents like spend their lives trying to get their children to clean up for, me, for them and then there's me that's like my mum had to be like will you stop cleaning and yeah so there's I, I understand that you feel very alone, but you're absolutely not alone in your experience. Um, you, you gave the example there of trying to stop the compulsions, but trying to maybe only do five out of 10 compulsions in an evening, and sweetheart, that's just never gonna work. That's like trying to give up smoking and be like, well, I'll just have 10 fags today rather than 20. By the way, if you're British, fag is a term for cigarette. Be able to point that out. <laughs> um, and so, 
it's like, yeah, and I understand that you're trying, but you have to do, you, you have to stop. The reason that the compulsion is there is because you're still giving into it. You have to stop giving into that compulsion in order for that compulsion to go away. You do. So it's not gonna work trying to do half of your compulsions. You have to force yourself to stop. And for some people, if you don't feel, if you don't feel that you have the family support, and if you don't feel that you're able to do it at home, I do suggest that you seek some kind of treatment. You've got to get some kind of help there. It sounds to me from your email like you're feeling pretty desperate and alone. And there are people who can help you do that, whether it's recovery coaching, going to see a therapist, some dietitians are absolutely fantastic as well. So, you know, you may even look at treatment, you know, actually inpatient stuff, if you really feel that you can't stop those compulsions without some sort of intervention. I know that you can, by the way. It's mostly to do with sheer determination and willpower. That's how we stop the compulsions. So I'm not saying that you have to go to treatment in order to stop them, but I am saying that if you feel that you can't, you should try something, absolutely anything. Try things, change things. If you can't stop those compulsions on your own, go somewhere, get some help to help you do that because it sounds like you're stuck in a bit of a rut. And I know that you've improved with the eating, but you gotta stop those compulsions as well. And also, I don't think your family hate you. You're probably just really irritating. I know I was. That doesn't mean that they hate you. They're probably also very confused as to why you can't do the simple, as far as they're concerned, simple things like sit still when they're asking you to. So I really don't believe that your family hates you. And I do think that maybe it would be good if you if you were able to talk to somebody who was an eating disorder expert and also have your family involved in that process so that they were able to better understand the compulsions that you feel and how difficult it is and then also they have a little bit more compassion but they might be able to help you stop those compulsions and tell you no you're not allowed to pick that cup up go and put it down um sit down type thing that might help me help as well don't allow your feelings of loneliness to tell you stories about what other people are thinking about you. Your family wouldn't be irritated or annoyed at you if you, they didn't love you. They'd be like, fine, run yourself ragged, go for it. The reason that they're irritated, annoyed if they are is because they desperately want you to recover and they know that the things that you're doing are not helping you recover and that's hurtful for them. So anyway, help is out there. If you want it, go and seek it. Find somebody that's an expert in eating disorders to talk to and to help you out and to help devise a path for you. But you can do this. You can stop the compulsions. It is as simple, simple as saying, I'm not doing that anymore. And then gritting your teeth and eating more food and even allowing yourself to enjoy just sitting and resting because I know that deep down that's all that you want to do. You're exhausted and all you want to do is rest and eat. So be truthful and be honest and listen to your body. Hope that helps.